Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sweet Time. Today, my special guest is Shayla Miller. Give a round of applause for Shayla Miller, everyone. I can't give a round of applause to myself and I hear no clapping, so. Today, we're gonna talk about our dreams. Her, 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 her. Her dreams are like movies. They are. They are nuts. You start first. I wanna hear your dream first. Okay, so. Surprise me. So in this dream, I had a golden retriever and I was obsessed, which I don't even really like dogs that much, so. I don't really know, but I loved this dog, I know for sure. The only way I could have this dog is if it was allowed to stay at the neighbor's house. Um, because my mom is not a big... My mom loves animals, but she's a very light sleeper, so... She thinks she'd hear things moving around the house that would just sort of blank. Real life Natalie yeah. doesn't want a pet because doesn't. she would hear them if they ran around at night. Yeah. The only way I could have the dog is if it if it was allowed to live at my neighbor's house, which in the dream my neighbor said yes. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Real life Natalie told you you can have a dog in the dream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not in real yeah. life. I was like, your mom told you that you could have a dog <laughs> only if it stayed at the neighbor. That would be hilarious. But no, we are in dream mode here. Okay, okay. We, I would just have to run outside and yell its name, and it would run out of the doggy door. <laughs> Of the neighbor's house. And then I would just say, okay, time for you to go home. And he'd go back home to the neighbors and I'd come in. And, and uh, then, you know, it was just cute. But then I woke up and I remember thinking, do I have a dog? <laughs> oh my God. I thought I had a dog. Like, I was like, wait, no. No, my mom would never actually let me do that, would she? And I don't remember if I asked her. I don't think I asked her because I think I probably was like, no, I must not. <laughs> I must not. I must Imagine not have a dog. Imagine if you had a dog all these years. You didn't know about it because you never asked the question, mom, do I have a dog at the neighbor's house? Seriously. <laughs> like what if she was like, I was just waiting for you to say the word, go inside and yell Sparky for a surprise. Sparky. I'm gonna say my nightmare. And I do that because I, I don't know if I've ever had a nightmare. I've never seen the movies Chucky, like any of that. So I was dreaming that I was upstairs in my room, in my bedroom, and I had a dog named Midnight. I walked out into the hallway and I go up to a window where I can see like where the cars pull up and I look down and this little tiny car just pulling up in the driveway. But then my mind cuts like a scene. It cuts to the back of the car. I'm coming in <laughs> with the back of the car here. I notice the red hair, right? The Chucky oh, hair. No. So it's like, <sighs> so then it cuts back to me and I'm like, oh my God, it's Chucky. I'm like freaking out. So then I yell downstairs because I think my mother was in the house, but she was making supper or something like that. I remember yelling like, don't open the door. It's Chucky. It's Chucky. <laughs> For some reason, okay, my door, I, I yell down, don't open the door. And my dog goes to the door. And my door, instead of being a normal door with a screen on top, for some reason, it was a weird door with a screen on the bottom. I cut to Chucky getting out of the car and he has a screwdriver. He like pulls out a screwdriver and he's like walking up the stairs to my door. And I'm like, don't open the door. I'm running down the stairs to like make sure no one opens the door. So I get out into like the hallway where I can see the door and my dog is walking up to the door and I'm like, midnight, no. So then the dog somehow puts its paw on the screen door and Chucky just comes up and to my dog. And then I woke up because I was like, nope, I'm not gonna watch this anymore. Like I woke myself up and I remember thinking like, sorry, midnight. And the next morning I get oh up and I give her a hug. Oh, I was like, that was like not fun, but I, I still didn't consider that like a nightmare. It didn't scare me because I, I woke up from it. I'm like, what the hell? What is this? Oh, what the? <laughs> I will say my first dream that I ever, remember I think mm -hmm. I think I was young which so I don't know I think this dream just like caught me off so much because it was kind of like a nightmare mm. that oh, I god I know that my little Shayla brain just sort of <laughs> kept it with me throughout <gasps> these years yeah because I like really remember it so it so okay I well I used to live when I lived at home mm -hmm. back a road right so like this is the road so then this would be my house mm -hmm. and then this would be my neighbor's house Right. And then, like, this is the highway. I just remember being at the neighbor's house, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like a Jurassic Park moment, I guess, which maybe, oh my gosh, maybe I had this dream because I watched Jurassic Park at the neighbor's. I remember being so scared I didn't make it through the whole movie, <laughs> but this could have been why. We were at their house, 
and just stuff started shaking, like the little footstep thing. Like that's what in I'm your thinking. dream. In my dream, which is why I'm thinking maybe it's because of Jurassic Park. I don't know. That makes sense. Yeah, we look outside, and there is this like really scary looking robotic BJ from Barney. But like scarier, because BJ's <laughs> BJ's not scary. <laughs> BJ's not scary. So I guess maybe it was like BJ, but looked like an actual dinosaur a little more. So he was terrifying. We're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Somebody ran downstairs because there was like the living room, and then there was the downstairs where there was like I think a TV and stuff that we like hung out and whatever. Mm. And there was a big pile of laundry because I think they used to have big piles of laundry down in their basement anyway. I remember staying up long enough that I saw these weird other things come down from the BJ, BJ dinosaur. <laughs> like, it was like, they were like his minions. And I don't think they were robots. Oh yeah. God. I remember seeing that and so then I ran downstairs and I was like, guys, we have to hide. They're coming. <laughs> so basically like BJ, the dinosaur, <laughs> sent all of these little minions in to like snatch up the kids, I think, or something. <laughs> One of us hid in the pile of laundry. One of us hid like under a table, I think. That's and then smart. there were two, uh, two other, other people that I don't remember where they hid. So then I don't know about that that point my little brain shut off or whatever but I don't remember past that point right like Ashley was taken and I was like no <laughs> no <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then the dream was just over and it was never resolved and I don't know if in I don't know if I survived my own dream wow okay well that's mine okay do you want to hear the Glenn Close dream now always <laughs> always okay because you know what they say what Keep your glens close, and your glenemies closer. Sheila, get out of the house! <laughs> I remember this. I was on like a, a camping field trip kind of thing, and we were we were camping out along this beach that it was beautiful. Like I remember it just being so cinematically gorgeous. There was like one cabin that if you went inside. There were like tunnels to go underground, but the tunnels were a little claustrophobic. It, like only one person could like fit into one thing at a time. It started out there and it was like, it was weird. Cause I was like, this is very strange for a cabin in the woods kind of situation here. So all of a sudden I look over and there's Glenn Close just being a little weirdo. She was just watching people. People watching is great, but she was like behind a pillar watching people. And I'm like, that's weird, Glenn Close. That's weird. I just like remember like, needing to get out of the tunnels really fast because something was happening above on the like above ground so i remember like scurrying scurrying and then i get out and all of a sudden there's tornadoes going off everyone's freaking out and i'm like what is happening they weren't big enough tornadoes to like take people up or anything. right it's just like little tornadoes going around and i look over and there's glenn close doing like I was like, oh my God, it's Glenn Close. Glenn Close is the one who's making these tornadoes. And I was trying to tell people so bad, like guys, it's Glenn Close. She and steals Dalmatians and she makes tornadoes. makes tornadoes. And nobody was listening to me. And like, there was like a bridge across uh, this little river and we had to like get to the bus. So we're all running towards the bus and I, and Glenn is also running, but also like making these tornado things. And I was like, it's clearly Glenn Close making these tornadoes. We finally get into the bus that's gonna take, take us to safety. Everyone piles in the bus, including Glenn Close. So I'm sitting at the back like, like, I know it's her. I'm there like whispering to people. And then Glenn turns around and looks at me. And then she's like, and I'm like, oh my God, she knows, I know. She's gonna get me, she's gonna get me. And then I woke up and I was sad because Aww. I really wanted to see where that was gonna go. <laughs> I wanted to know what Glenn Close was gonna do to us. Me too. Oh, so I feel gypped. Gypped? Gypped. <laughs> <laughs> I feel gypped. Like Jiffy Pop? <laughs> so those are uh, those are my dreams. I, I have more, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share them. No, they're in my brain. My brain. Dreams and our dreams and your dreams and ice creams and you screams and oh, apparently it's not good to drink. No, nope, apparently it's not good to eat <laughs> ice cream before bed because you have weird dreams. I'm gonna try that. So I hope you enjoyed this very uh, dreamful adventure of ours, yes. and uh, I hope you got a kick out of some of our dreams because I sure, I sure did. I don't remember anything really usually ever. So I can't even, like she's just a unicorn to me. <laughs> Cause I don't know anybody who remembers dreams like her or has dreams like her. 
hope you enjoyed spending your sweet time with us.